Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here from Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Today we're going to be taking a look at what I think are five of the very best bunkhouse travel trailers out there available, uh, 30 feet and up. This is when we're all going to start getting into, like, we're going to see slide outs, we're going to see big super slides, multiple slide outs. Um, the question of can I tow it is going to probably come into play on a few of these. As always, at Halet RV, we will address towing safety concerns on a per customer basis. We always put your safety before the sale. We are not going to be putting you down the road in something that is potentially unsafe because that's dangerous for you. It's dangerous for other families. It's dangerous for our families on the road with people who are not in a safe towing situation. So again, remember too, these are just my personal picks. And I would always love to know, um, you know, if I missed one, if uh, one of your favorites is not on this list, let me know which one that is. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to work that into a future video of some kind. So let's get do uh, started in here. Dove in, dove in, started in. I, I never, I never do that well, do I? <laughs> Kicking us off first, dead on 30 feet. 30 feet, zero inches. That J Feather 24 BH. Man, J Feather is, is hands down, I think compared to a year or two ago, the most improved maybe trailer in the industry out there. They have gotten so good so fast. Updating to things like carpetless and uh, the, the 12 volt fridges and their warranties unmatched and the Goodyear tires, they nail so many things. And specifically, I, uh, I love this one with the L-shaped lounge. Uh, I call it the Swiss Army Super Sofa because it can do anything. You can sleep your family in this. It's got a good camp kitchen space, private sleeping, really good storage it's a sneaky in-betweener though it's not quite like you look at it and say oh it's just a, a a one slide like small slide trailer but it's kind of like a two-third slide it's a very interesting model that fits in between a lot of spaces where maybe a full super slide would be too much but a, a small dinette only slide might not be enough i'm josh the rv nerd this is halo rv and that is a 6,400 pound plus minus, uh, anyway, J Feather 24 BH. Now, if you're a regular follower of ours, you know that we've already got some pretty current footage of one of these, so why would I be re recording one of these things? Well, um, that goes hand in hand with the reason that I'm gonna call her Victoria, because she's got a couple secrets, kind of like my favorite magazine in high school growing up. <laughs> but uh, I, I wanted to be able to show you uh, the alternative decor to the modern farmhouse, as well as show you a little camp kitchen update that is now across the board on all of these. Jago has um, applied their, their new partnership with Blackstone Griddles uh, all the way through the Jayfeather family now. So this is kind of what their camp kitchens are going to look like since they're very good at standardizing these things. And I'm happy to see that because they do, um, compared to like the little two burner stove, this will be a lot better outside where it's a little bit windy, which is where you're going to use a camp kitchen, obviously. Not to mention the fact that it, it burns hotter, more, more evenly, uh, so that you don't get like one spot of chicken overcooked and one spot raw, because nobody likes raw chicken, except for maybe a fox, and we still can't figure out what the fox says. Now, coming in at number four is one that really took me by surprise. It's one that I looked at just on paper, and I'm like, it looks like Cherokee just took an existing bunkhouse model and just played the shell game and rearranged all the furniture. And really, I suppose in truth, that's what they did. But that doesn't mean it's not great. We had somebody custom order one of these, and the moment I stepped inside, I was blown away and I fell in love. And that is the 274 BRB, the B, the B right back, because it always brings you right back. The way that they arranged this one, by giving us just these huge panoramic opposing windows, the seating faces one another. It's it's a very open, spacious feeling despite only having one slide. It could work for a family. I think it's an awesome pick for somebody like grandparents who maybe occasionally have grandkid guests or something like that because the bunks don't feel like you're sacrificing a lot of space. It feels like it has such an awesome, good living space, but also incorporating that direct entry bathroom and so many other good features. It was just a no-brainer. This one was a slam dunk when it made it on the list. The 274 BRB Cherokee. It's less than 6,400 pounds, and this new Cherokee bunkhouse, it ain't just crazy. It is crazy awesome. I love this new kind of rethought design. They're, they're listening to their customers, and they're giving you exactly what people have been asking for. People have been saying, we want windows on the door side of the RV. Cherokee said, you got it. Take a look at this thing. It's gorgeous, both inside and out. And even though it's just a one slide super slide camper, it 
feels enormous inside due to those dual big panoramic picture windows. The decor inside is very classy, very stately. It's gonna hold up very nicely to kids banging around in there as well. Big 12 volt fridge, huge pantry in this thing, and you know, nice private bedroom up front. Then outside you might have seen that newly enhanced camp kitchen with that pull out griddle right there. It's like they just, they are really taking it up a notch over here. We have full travel access. We have uh, a direct entry bathroom uh, from the outside. Not that you need it with the full travel access, but it will cut down on foot traffic during the day. I don't care if this is gonna be your first camper. If this is the first one you ever get, you did really good right from the start, by the way. But if you're looking to upgrade, uh, you need a floor plan just fits you a little bit better. Man, man, there's a lot of good happening here. Now, following up with that is another member of the Cherokee family, the Gray Wolf series, specifically the 29 TE that I love to call the Tedward Edward. Um, I think the TE actually stands for triple entry bathroom, but uh, this one does, it does a bunkhouse different. It's a private bunk room, which is awesome. It has perhaps the best camp kitchen available in travel trailers with a massive fridge and freezer and ice maker and sink and a partridge in a pear tree. But it puts a shower up by the master bedroom instead of a tub by the rear bunk space. And frankly, the only reason it doesn't rank higher on this list is just because it is deceptively large but man, it is worth it. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And with us today is the Cherokee Grey Wolf 29TE, which obviously stands for Tadward Edward. Um, maybe not. The, uh, actually I think it stands for triple bath entry, but this is a really fun model. Uh, 6,560 pounds dry weight as it sits today. It'll weigh about three to 350 pounds more in black label. And I've got a, a full black label video of one of these already recorded. I will leave the link to that in the video description. Please watch this. Let me know what you like or dislike. Um, and then watch the black label one and let me know which one you would prefer if, you know, it was your money on the line. This is a really fun model. It gives us an awesome private triple bunk room, a full size camp kitchen with an epic mega fridge that is really hard to find and it gives us a forward position bathroom with a shower instead of a rear bathroom with a tub all of that stuff is hard to find in this specific combination which is i think why the tedward edward is so popular i do want to give you a little caution though on potential uh towing of this one 6560 pounds sounds very half ton towable if that's all it was, it would be fine. This is a long trailer. It'll be longer than a lot of half tons are going to be comfortable handling. So I just want to kind of throw that out there. You know, towing really varies a little bit by situation, by person. Please give our team a call. Let us get the chance to know you so we can provide some more personalized towing suggestions so we can always make sure we're putting your safety before the sale at Haywood RV. Enough about that though. Let's get inside. Now coming in at number two, another stick and tin offering, this time from the Wildwood Group. And that is uh, one I actually got just a slight bit of creative suggestion applied to, the 29 V-Bud Wildwood. Uh, it has this cool cargo door in the bunk room. That was actually my idea that they adopted, which is very cool. But everything Wildwood is doing right now is based almost exclusively off consumer feedback. And they've become... They've gone from just being a good rank and file trailer to being one of the most creative, dynamic forces in travel trailers out there to the tune that we have other laminated brands of trailers asking us, what is going on with Wildwood? They're doing these crazy things. How can we get a hold of that? The versatility of this model, though, it's a one slide bunkhouse that feels like uh, I mean, it converts into anything. You've got the Versa lounge in the living room that can become any kind of seating arrangement you've ever imagined. It also has the Versa bunk and Versa queen set up in the bunk room. That can That's really the secret in the sauce of this one. It's a cargo hold when you're going down the road. It can turn into an amazing two bedroom, not just bunkhouse, but two bedroom thing at your destination. Or you can flip that stuff all up out of the way and convert into a second living room if you're all stuck inside on a rainy day or if you're looking for something to convert to an office without needing to do some serious renovations. It only does everything. It is the Versa camper of the industry today. 7,515 pounds. Wildwood V-Bud coming in to us here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And if you're not sure, do I get the one slide camper? Do I get the two slide camper? Uh, what, you know, what kind, do we get theater? Do we get this or that? This is the one that gives you the function of a two slide RV 
in one RV. It gives you a cargo bunk garage. It gives you seating and bunk furniture configurations that can be reconfigured within seconds on the fly. So two different people could buy this same camper for wildly different purposes and applications. It is what I call Swiss Army Camper. It only does everything. Now real quick before I get to my number one, a couple quick honorable mentions as I like to do. First is the 263 BHS Catalina. Um, it's, a, it's another one of those very straightforward models. I think it is an unsung uh, member of the RV industry out there. I don't think Catalina really gets the praise that it deserves. They're never over the top. They're never uh, overdone. They are simple where they should be, fancy where they could be, and they are very effective, very good fit and finish. It's something that if you're looking for a bunkhouse model to take your family out there for 10 years and then swap up into that big fifth wheel, this is such a good solution. 6,325 pounds. Man, I am liking the new look of these Catalinas here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the 263 BHS bunkhouse model. Gives us a big living room super slide, lots of sleeping, great storage, and the potential for half ton towability. Let's take a quick peek inside. The camp kitchen in this has been significantly enhanced, and that lighter, brighter decor that they have, that is always a crowd pleaser. There's some optional equipment on this one, like that 12 volt fridge and the uh, LCI stable steps, but some neat new features like a multicolor LED strobe light capable awning uh, kind of system here are a bunch of little things that almost kind of feel like they taught an old dog new tricks, you know? Additionally, honorable mention, the Freedom Express 326 BHDS. This thing is so good. It's a double slide bunkhouse with a private bunk room, but it, it brings in a bath and a half, true queen, taller ceilings, it's carpetless, Asdell, uh, the wide stance stability axles help offset some of that length. It's definitely encroaching for sure on that three quarter ton towable range, but just the monster list of features and that huge super slide giving me all of the windows on my door side of the RV instead of always looking out the, the, the driver's side at my neighbor's campsite because who wants to look at the sweaty shirtless neighbor when you're camping? Not me. <laughs> she tips the scales about 8,090 pounds, big living room super slide on the door side and amazing bath and a half private bunk room in the back. The 326 BHDS Freedom Express here at Aylid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I'm gonna give her name uh, even though I'm calling it her, which is awkward. I think, why do we, we always call cars campers, we call them hers. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna call her B.A. <laughs> Baracus, like our favorite mohawked hero from the hit A-Team series. And I'm gonna do so because this thing is rather B.A., in my opinion, if you are picking up what I'm putting down right there. It has a laundry list of personal favorite features. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Freedom Express is absolutely a brand I personally really like. Like outside of my professional interest in this RV, I like what this brand does. The features, the, the qualities they bring to the table, like the wide stance axles to give me a smoother towing experience, a heated belly, a taller ceiling, and a true queen bed with an amazing easy lift storage down below. Uh, this one also brings Asdell to the table. And again, a bath and a half model means everybody has their own private space to, you know, like use the potty at night so that we're not tracking across the whole camper. Not to mention the fact that this one, although shaped in a rather uncommon fashion, it puts that big super slide with all those windows over here on the door side of the RV so you can keep an eye on your campsite instead of only looking at the neighbors. Now I try to provide reasonable towing expectations coming into this. And if you appreciate that, definitely click that little subscribe button and follow along because we always try to shoot you straight. Um, there's going to be some people out there that go, oh, it's half ton towable, and they stop talking. Please be cautious of those kind of folks because the, the camper at 8,090 pounds as this one weighs now could be anywhere from eight to 81, depending on the options put onto it. Like a second air will add some weight. Um, yes, that could fit within the realm of half ton towability, but this trailer is long. And that is a harder thing for a common class half ton to handle. A, a very heavy duty half ton that I call a two third ton will probably handle it. But those wide stance axles right there, those tires that I was zooming in on, those will help you basically cheat the wheelbase and will make the trailer feel like it's a little bit shorter when you're towing it. 
So that being said, if you're not sure if your truck can handle it, please just call our team. Give us a chance to do our job. We'll crack open the tow guides. We'll give you what we've seen from our experience and then also get to know you a little bit so that we can have an idea of like, hey, is this going to be the right one for you or not? Because the last thing we want is you being white knuckled and terrified of going camping. We want you going out and having a good time and telling other folks, man, those folks at Halo RV sure shot me straight. I appreciate that. And finally, my number one personal RV nerd preferred pick. If I had the truck to tow anything I wanted, if I could go out there and point at any travel trailer bunkhouse in my lineup, the one that I would probably take home personally today is the 29 BHS Cougar. I love this thing. I love this thing so much. I can't even not smile when I think about it. And it's gotten so much better since I first fell in love with it. It is now carpetless. It has those massive panoramic windows, king bed, auto leveling, warranty for full-time RVing that is like, that just doesn't tend to happen a lot in bunkhouse travel trailers. The in-command system, the, the bath entry, the direct entertainment, insanely good storage. And that cargo hold, that cargo bunk space that can actually, I could literally just put my kid's bike in there, dog crates. I mean, uh, a pony, <laughs> you can haul a pony in this thing. It's amazing. And I'm not looking for something myself right now, but man, if I was, if I was a customer, if I was out there looking for something I was going to have for that eight, 10 year period to take my family out. But frankly, I don't know that even once the kids move out, you have to move out of this camper because it it's, it's, it's such a good couples arrangement, kind of like that 274 Cherokee. The bunks can so easily be repurposed into cargo space that I think it could be somebody's first, last, and only trailer, and you would never regret it. That is how strongly I feel about the 29 BHS Cougar. 7,000 pounds, pretty much dead on the nose. Might vary a little bit depending on the options that you apply to it. My name is Josh the RV Nerd. This is Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and this is the Cougar 29 BHS, which is absolutely a nerd preferred floor plan i love this thing it was one of the first ones that i just really got hung up on and i've been doing this for a long time let's take a look with our floor plan in a flash it has almost i think i think a perfect balance of like great living room space good storage awesome sleeping i could see this model working for people who don't care about the bunks who are just looking for all kinds of storage it can do almost anything it might be a little bit shy on door side windows but a, a one slide trailer like this, I think you still spend enough time outside that I don't know that that always matters. I don't think everybody's buying a trailer like this to spend all day, every day inside. And when you do want it, it's definitely got big time windows for some panoramic viewing. But Cougar was really one of the first travel trailers that gave us fifth wheel features in a potentially half ton towable model. Like we've got thicker two inch sidewalls. We've got an awesome proven hot cold camping package, 12 volt tank heaters, enclosed heated belly, all that stuff. Uh, 70 by 80 king bed standard. It gives us a little camp kitchen and a bathroom entry door instead of one or the other. It has in command. So if you want to go super tech packagey, you can do all that. There's not much it doesn't do. This is There's a reason I love this trailer. Cause when I look around, I see that it could work for my family today, even with just one kid. And frankly, in a few years, when she grows up and she's done camping with mom and dad, I could see us hanging on to this trailer and really not having any reason to swap around and saving a ton of money long term versus buying a second trailer. So what do you think, guys? Over 30 feet with bunks? Is there one that I missed that we have here at Halo RV? Is there one that you'd rank a little bit higher? Again, these are just my personal picks, and I won't claim that I always get it right, but these are the ones that speak to me. Now, if you'd like to learn more about any of these models today, as always, I leave links down in the video description where you can see our full walkthrough video tours of those just one click away. And if you have any questions on any of those, you give our team a call. It doesn't matter if you're near or far, we can get them delivered to you. And as always, if there's a top five list of some variety you'd like to see, leave me some suggestions, and I'll do my best to try to fulfill as many of those as I can with the time that I have available. And as always, if you appreciate information like this and those big tours we put through and all the how-tos and the helpful and the buyer beware stuff, support our family-owned and operated facility by clicking that subscribe button and following along today. And as always, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo Camping, everyone.